Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2018 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 41. 41 says motorists are expected to stop for a pedestrian once he or she is on the dash. We'll talk of motorists. Motorists here simply means drivers. That is, drivers are expected to stop for pedestrian. That is, people that trek, trek, people that trek, once they are dash on the dash, then A, fly over, B, highway, C, rightly, D, sharp bend, E, zebra crossing zebra crossing is like this then sharp bend something like this like this then right lane we self explain we know the right hand side which is right and side of the road the highway highway simply means express express that is straight straight road that 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 is free that vehicle moves very fast then fly over that is top of the bridge yeah, the bridge so by this option b is correct i will so motorists are expected to stop for pedestrian once he or she is on the highway. Thank you and God bless you. Subscribe for more of our videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2018 Civic Education Past Question. Question number 46. Which of the following is the objective of FRSC? And the full meaning of FRSC is that is Federal Road Federal Road Safety Corps and 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 it was funded funded in the year 1988 by the Act of Parliament, at the Act of Parliament of Nigeria. So the objective, the main aim of this: a, assist motorists to park; b, efficient; b, be efficient in road maintenance; c, ensure vehicles worthiness; d, reduce accident on roads nationwide e teach people how to drive the correct option here is option b reduce accident on all roads nationwide then also take notes ensure vehicles worthiness is also one of their aim take note but the cogent objective is to reduce accident on road nationwide thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos
afternoon welcome this is neko yeah 2019 civic education pass question question number 43 says the following are features of constitutional democracy constitutional democracy except dash that is the listed option are features or properties of constitutional democracy except one i want to talk of constitutional democracy constitutional democracy democracy is refers to the to the to the to the the practice practice of of the democrat democratic democratic principles that that is in line is in line with with the constitution of the land constitution of the land which <laughs> this with remember that democracy is majority majority rule a civil society option b individual rights c one party structure d political participation e popular sovereignty so in constitutional democracy there is what we call civil rights that is the people as a whole, a civil society, the people as a whole have their life to live. Then there is individual rights as well. Then in constitutional democracies, there is political participation, which is mass party system. Then in constitutional democracy, there is popular sovereignty, except one party structure. One party structure is the same thing as one political party system so option c is correct thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more of our videos To know welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education past question question number 44 says the process of exercising legitimate power is known as dash now when we talk of legitimate power is different from power itself and legitimate power let's define the legitimate power Le legitimate Power same play means 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 power means power that is that is back that is back up by the by the support support of the people and not only that alone and constitution of the land constitution of the land that is the people support and that part can be gotten through or call election because election is the only democratic way or process by which political power is attained. So political power is legitimate 
if the people gives their mandate to the political office holder. So that type of power is refers to as authority. Yes, not bureaucracy. Bureaucracy has to do with office procedure. Then coercion has to do with force. Governance has to do with administration. The supremacy has to do with with power. Power to rule. Power to rule the people. So option A is correct, which is authority. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. Welcome, this is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 45 says, Who defines democracy as government of the people by the people and for the people? A. Abraham Lincoln, B. B. Clayton, C. George Washington, D. George Bush, E. Jimmy Carter. The correct option here is option A. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln defined democracy as the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And for the people when he was the president of America. Yes, he was. He was the sixteenth. Sixteenth. U. S. A president 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 between between 1861 to 1865 and that is when he defined democracy as the government of the people by the people and for the people thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more of our videos Welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 46 says Intercommunal conflicts can be resolved through dash. When we talk of intercommunal, simply means between two or more. Communities. Then we'll talk of conflict. Conflict is the this 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 agreement agreement between two or more parties or people that is conflict so now we are talking of the conflict that is between two or more communities how can it be resolved the option a dialogue b intimidation c prayer d reconciliation E retaliation. Retaliation simply means payback. Pay back. That is what we talk of revenge. He wronged me, I will wrong him too. The reconciliation means coming together. Coming together. But the thing that will take place first is what we are talking about. Then Prayer means force. Force can also go with conflict. 
intimidation means underrate underrate the dialogue means communication communication so it can best be solved through dialogue by talking thank you and god bless you and share you subscribe for more videos Afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 47 says Value can be classified into dash. That is, we can classify value into what and what. And we'll talk of value. Value is the standard is a standard of people people wish 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 govd their behavior and that is value then Option A says justice and injustice, be a positive and negative, C private and public, D social and political, E valuable and invaluable. Value can be classified into positive and negative. So that is two. So option B is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more videos Hello, welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 48 says which of the following virtues is referred to as the pillar of values virtues virtues means what or 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 something that someone cherish that is virtue so which of this which of this is the pillar pillar means foundation which is the foundation of values a cooperation b harmony c love d peace e tolerance when we talk of cooperation cooperation means coming together together for specific goals the harmony means unity or oneness then love love simply means kindness kindness then peace simply means tranquility then tolerance simply means being a common deity in nature. So the pillar of values is what we call love. Thank you and God bless you. And share and subscribe for more videos. Afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 49 says to promote national consciousness, integrity, and unity, citizen 
must possess the following attribute except one except that is national consciousness simply means it relates to the it relates okay let's say this relates to the the countries integrity and unity of purpose unity of purpose then the following are important except one option a honesty honesty has to do with truth or being truth hospitality has to do with consign showing consign hostility hostility has to do with enmity or or on or or on kindness then patotism means to be to be a good representation then tolerance means to be a the accommodative so with this accept hostility so option c is correct thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more videos So now welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education past question question number 50 says the major types of laws used to govern the society are that use that is common that is prominent in every society are dash law and as well know laws simply means standard standard or rules that guide guide the the behavior of people in the society so that is law option a says canon laws and civil laws option b says case laws and statute law option c says common law and private law option d says constitutional constitution and international law option e says constitutional and civil law the correct option here is option E, constitutional law and civil law. When we talk of constitutional law, it simply means laws made made by made by made by the states made by the states or government now when we talk of civil law civil laws laws means laws laws that are product product of the society that are part of the society 
rules and regulations that are part of the society. So option E is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more videos. You know, welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 51 says A special status accorded an individual by the state is dash, that is, a special position or recognition. A special recognition given given to a person is called dash so that is the interpretation of the question by the state the state here yeah, means by the government by the government is called dash a certification b citizenship C followership D membership E qualification. I want to talk of certification. It is an art of certifying that is satisfying. The citizenship means being a bona fide member of a state followership means the art of being a follower membership it is the art of being a member then qualification it is a professional sad satisfaction so by this the correct option is option a when a state is satisfied with a, a, a position according to a person by the state is called certification thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more videos So no welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 52 says n n d l e a was established by decree number 48 of january of which year january of which year what's the of decree the cre simply mean simply means law passed the law law passed passed by the military that is the cre then the N D L E A stands for National National Drug Drug Law Enforcement enforcement agency 
agency, agency and it is an agency of government and it is an an agency of government charge with the duty of eliminating drugs in the country and it was and it was established and it was established by the act of parliament in 1989 so option a is correct thank you and god bless you and share subscribe for more of our videos Afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 53 says The natural way of acquiring a citizenship is by dash. That is, acquire means becoming or belonging to a, a state. The state and who is it citizenship? Who is a citizen? Uh, citi what is citizenship? Citizenship citizenship is the process of becoming a citizen of a state so option a we have bet b honorary c marriage d naturalization e registration citizenship by registration is the same as citizenship by marriage citizenship by marriage when a woman marry a man of another country it becomes a citizenship so the decision by naturalization means denouncing denouncing one's state and then becoming a member of another country. The honorary means by honor that you bear. So the decision by birth is natural. Is what is natural. So option A is correct thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more videos no, welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 54 says the protection of an individual's freedom from infringement defines dash right infringement means violation violation or stepping stepping on one's rights that is infringement on individuals so the protection of an individual's freedom from infringement divine dash right a economic b legal c moral d political e social when we talk of economic right it has to do with owing of properties property the legal law legal right has to do with legal legal has to do with 
law suits. The Mora has to do with conduct. Then political has to do with politics. Politics. Then social has to do with freedom of of an individual. So the protection of an individual's freedom from infringement defines that type of right, defines social right. Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more of our videos. Welcome, this is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 55 says, Which of the following is to be regarded as legal rights? Which of the following has to be regarded as legal rights? Legal right means legal right means the Freedom to sue and, and, and to be sued. So A association B a fear hearing C life D movement E worship. So which of the following is read as what? As a legal right. So the only right that is that is strongly on them legal right is what we call life. That is right to life. So option C is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Share subscribe for more videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 56 rather says an alien who has lived in Nigeria for 20 years may acquire citizenship by dash an alien alien here means foreigner foreign foreigner that are lived in Nigeria can acquire that citizenship so option A citizenship by birth no this is a citizenship by nature or natural citizenship natural citizenship the honorary is by honor by honor the nationalization this is by nationalization simply means citizenship by nationalization nationalization is, is by living in in living in a state for yes and then show in show interest for citizenship for citizenship then citizenship by naturalization means the noun and since 
Citizenship. Citizenship. Okay. The registration okay. is by marriage. So option C is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more of our videos. Afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 57 says Courtism is an anti social activity that promotes dash in the society. When we talk of anti social, means, means it is a social vice vice that is it violates violate the the social social norms of the society so and as we all know courtesy Courtesy, courtesy is an an association an association of of people people whose agenda whose agenda is clandestine clandestine so a deviant behavior b established norms c peaceful coexistence c social vices e unity and progress so from the definition as we can say it is a social <coughs> vice therefore option D is correct. Thank you and God bless you. And sure you subscribe for more videos. To know welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Past Question. Question number 58 says Which of the following is not a characteristic of rule of law? Now, when we talk of rule of law, Rule of law, rule of law was propounded by Professor A. B. Dicey. Dicey. I see. And he said that no body is above the law or equality before the law sold or equal Lady before the the law. So which of the following is not a cases of rule of law? A adherence to human rights principle, yes. Equality before the law, it is a category of law, yes. On due punishment before the law, university of the law, university of the law. D, the University of the Law, E, E, unlimited power of the police. So, 
by this by this which one is not a exercise of rule of law on due punishment before the law which is option c is not a chastising of rule of law thank you and god bless you share subscribe for more of our videos You know, welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 15 it says an other direction a detail a detaily to be brought before the law is that an other direction a detainee to be brought to before the court is that when we talk of detainee a detainee is a person, 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 detain, detain, detain at the police cost body. So option A, appearance, B, abicus. C injunction D referendum E trial. It is an order of trial. So the person is under trial. So option E is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. Welcome. This is NECO year 2019 civic education pass question. Question number 66. In a presidential system, the power to exercise administrative functions rests with the dash in a presidential system. And we'll talk of presidential presidential system. Presidential system. is a system of government, government in which 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 the 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 executive head the executive head, 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 head is is both the the head of the government and the states. So, A, electorate. Electorate simply means voters. So, voters. Executives. In services, play. Judiciary. That is the judges. Legislature. That is law. Law makers. Then political parties. That is informal former group in the state that con contesting contesting for an election. Uh, so in presidential system, the power to exercise administrative function rests on the executives. Rest on it. Okay. So option B is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos.
Welcome, this is NECO year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number one says, which of the following is a hindrance to interpersonal relationship? Now, when we talk of hindrance, hindrance simply means problem. That is the problem that can confront interpersonal relationship. We'll talk of interpersonal means involving two parties. Only two parties. That is two parties are involved. That is when two parties, two different persons come together into relationship becomes inter personal relationship so which among this option can actually constitute a problem to interpersonal relationship a caring b honesty c insensitivity d patient e tolerance the correct option here is option c which is insensitivity Caring cannot hinder interpersonal relationship because in interpersonal relationship, relationship between one or two persons, caring is very important. The truth is also very important to be truthful in relationship, also a relationship. Then patience. Patience means endurance to en endurance to endure one another. Is very important in international in interpersonal relationship. The tolerance that is accommodating one another is very important also in interpersonal relationship. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. To know welcome this is net neko year 2019 civic education past question question number two navdak was established in 1984 by the regime of dash option a says abubaka abdul salam option b ibrahim babangida Ibrahim Babangida, option C, Mamodu Buari, option D, Ulushegun Obasanjo, option E, Musa, eh, Umaru Musa Yadua. The correct option here is option B, Ibrahim, I, Ibrahim Babangida, Ibadamusi. I want to talk of Navdak. Navdak happened to be a federal government agency it is a federal government federal government agency and it is not an independent agency it is it is under the Federal Ministry Ministry of Health. So it was established by Ibrahim Babangida. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. To know welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education past question question number three says the functions of the nigerian police is to dash a collect revenue for the government b defend the nation against external attack c interpret the law d maintain law and order E. 
monitor the movement of foreigners. We will talk of the functions of function of the Yapuru Mi, the main primary work of the Nigerian police, the main primary work or tax. One, the main primary work or task of the Nigerian police is to maintain law and order. So option D is correct. Maintenance of law and order is the major assignment or function of the Nigerian police. And remember that the Nigerian police is under the executive institution of government or executive arm of government. And that is why it, its function is to maintain law. I want to talk of executive executive implement law. So executive implement law. Therefore, the police complement the function or the rules of the executive. Thank you and God bless you. And share subscribe for more for our videos. To know welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number four which of the following is a benefit of youth empowerment benefit of youth empowerment what we'll talk of benefit means merits of youth empowerment or advantage of youth empowerment now, when we talk of youth empowerment, we means young, young, young adults, adults, adult empowerment, empowerment, empowerment. So, which of this is a benefit? A. Create opportunity for self-reliance. B. Encourages financial recklessness. C. Is a determining factor for youth's political career. D. Is a means of giving involved in governance. E. Promote youth restiveness. Now, advantage of youth empower empowerment here is that it will create opportunity for self reliance. Therefore, option A is correct because encouraging financial recognition cannot be the benefit of youth empowerment. Then youth political career it is not and then involved in being a means of involved in government it is not youth empowerment target and then to promote youth restlessness is not an agenda of youth empowerment thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more of our videos Welcome, this is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number five says, Which of the following is an example of orderliness in the society? Orderliness. Then we'll talk of orderliness. Orderliness means calmness. Calmness. That is things be in good order that is the meaning of orderliness being in good order that is the meaning of orderliness option a says calmness 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 means stringent that is or confusion Conf confusion then decorum decorum means peace 
peaceful peacefulness lateness is self explain then lousiness that is show showing up or being arrogant then quick quick kill jumping that is violation violation so the only correct option here is option b because decorum promotes orderliness in every given society thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more of our videos No welcome. This is Neko year 2019 civic education pass question. Question number six intercommunal relationship promote dash. When we talk of intercommunal relationship means the relationship relationship between two or more communities that is intercommunal relationship that is intercommunal relationship promote that a anarchy anarchy means conflict anarchy means conflict ethnocentrism Ethnocentrism means self self ethnic group or ethnicism ethnicism the peace peace means tranquility tranquility then rivalry rivalry means enemy any enemy or antagonistic 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 then sentiment sentiment means means self let's say self center so the correct option here is option C. So intercommunal relationship promotes peace. Thank you and God bless you. And sure you subscribe for more of our videos. To know welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number seven says youth empowerment scheme can be encouraged through dash youth empowerment scheme can be encouraged through dash a inadequate fund b option b economic activities option c skills acquisition d stringent economic policies option e inconsistent government policies the correct option here is option c skills acquisition skills acquisition so when we we'll talk of skills acquisition skills acquisition allows allows youth youth to have access to practical practical vocation practical vocation training training and then it becomes part of them then with that they can be self-reliant as reference to one of the questions we treated earlier.
thank you and god bless you and share and subscribe for more for our videos You know, welcome. This is NECO year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number eight Which of the following organization is an example of trade union? Tr that is trade union. Trade union sim simply means professional association. Pro professional association of a particular set of workers of a particular set of workers that venture into the same the same kind of work. Now, option A says Computer Professionals Registration Council of Nigeria. Option B, National Council of Arts and Culture. Option C, Nigerian Bar Association. Option D, Nigerian Shippers Council Option E Standard Organization of Nigeria That is which of the following organization is an example of trade union The correct option here is is option C Nigerian Bar Association When we talk of Computer Professional Registration Council of Nigeria it is a professional body in the society. Then we'll talk of National Council for Art and Culture. It promotes the culture of the society. Then we'll talk of Nigerian Shippers Council. It's a council of the ship owners. Then Standard Organization of Nigeria, popularly known as SON, is to regulate the, the products, both import and export, in a particular country. So, thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome. This is Neko year 2018 Civic Education Pass question. Question number nine. The statutory responsibility of the military is to defend the territorial borders against dash aggression. Option A, continental. Option B, external. Option C, foreign. Option D, internal. Option E, international. The correct option here is option B, external. I want to talk of external. External simply means outside, outside, outside the border, the border of one immediate country. Now, when we talk of continental, continental has to do with glue. The one we talk of foreign is the same as international. The internal is within within a particular country with a particular country thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more of our videos
No, welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 10 says The yellow light on the traffic sign is also known as dash. The yellow light that regulates the movement. The movement of cars cars or the i way is called dash a amber b sign c lily d maroon e c the correct option here is option a Amber means yellow. Yellow light. Remember that we have three principal li lights on the highway. We have the red, we have the gray, we have the the yellow. The connotation of the red, the red here is stop. The red simply means stop. The connotation of the gray is go. Why the collotation of the yellow is to get ready to go. Get ready to go. Then when we we'll talk of the sign, the sign simply means the green. The green. Then the lace simply means purple. Purple color. The maroon simply means red. Dark red. that correct then t also means means brown thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more of our videos No, welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education past question question number 11 says in which of the following areas is political discrimination most pronounced now i want to talk of political discrimination P political discrimination simply means the act of segregation the segregation against some some people some people who Political them most pronounced that is where it is evidence evidenced that is where it is evidenced a competence b religion c sex d tribe e zone so political discrimination is most pronounced in tribe not not in competent not in religion not in sex which has to do with gender not in zone system and as we all know the Igbo tribe in Nigeria in Nigeria is discrim discriminated politically Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos.
afternoon welcome this is civic education year 2018 past question question number 12 says most people will participate in politics most people will participate in politics if they are properly dash if they are properly dash most people will participate that is what factor among this we encourage political participation. What factor we encourage political participation? that is what the question is talking about a disfranchised b dominated c induced b mobilized e segregated the correct option here is mobilized which is option d mobilized more people will participate in politics if they are properly mobilized not this this franchise not dominated not induced and not segregated thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more of our videos To know welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 13 says human rights violation lead to dash human rights violation leads to that i want to talk of human rights human rights human rights simply means simply means play means those rights of freedom of freedom that citizens are out to enjoy being citizens of a country so that is what we call human rights so a cooperation b injustice c political development d popular participation e social awareness so human rights violation will lead to what injustice thank you and god bless you make sure you subscribe for more of our videos Afternoon. welcome this is Sneko year 2018 civic education past question question number 14 says the love and care for the young ones in the house could not dash the love and care for young one that is young children at between adolescent age and so and so forth in house in the house which is home then we can represent this home by parents Re meaning parents is called dash or means dash kono dash a cultural display b family support c responsible parenthood d social feelings a traditional behavior the correct option here is option c responsible parent would 
responsible parenthood that is parenthood responsible parenthood so it is responsible parenthood that indicates that indicates love and care and care for young ones and automatically or by tradition it is the responsibility of parents to show care it is the responsibility responsibility of parents that is good parents to love and care for their young ones not cultural display not to display culture and not family support whatever they do the family support them either wrong or bad uh, either good or bad the family support them social feeling simply means belonging to societal norms and so on then traditional behavior that is the norms the culture the practice of the people thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more of our videos Welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 15. The ability to express one's thoughts, one's thoughts and feelings clearly is dash skills. Thought means idea. How to express your ideas or feeling? Feeling has to do with emotion clearly that is logically is dash key a artistic b communication c intellectual d life coping e manipulative it cannot be manipulative because manipulative is negative in nature it's negative in nature then life coping life coping it cannot be life coping because it has to do do it both positive and negative endurance that is enduring something then communication communication is the process it is the process process of talking you see now i deliberately use the word talking or expressing one's concepts or expresses one's one's belief one thought and so on so, so artistic has to cannot be artistic because artistic has to do with arts and so on so forth. thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more of our videos afternoon welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 16 says the following are important of responsible period to national development except that that is responsible parents parenthood what that is all the mentioned points are the duties of responsible parent or parenthood to national development we'll talk of national development national development means towards nation building towards nation building except one a enables children to grow enables children to know their rights in the society b encourages social interaction 
among citizens yes uh ANSYS cooperation and communal effort yes c promote ethnicism e promotes the spirit of nationalism and patriotism yes so these are the f- roles or functions or duties of responsible parents except d which says promote ethnicism that is ethnicism has to do only my tribe it has to do with tribalism tribalism concerning one's tribe and so on and so forth thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more of our videos Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Past Question. Question number 17 says The best legacy parents can leave for their children is to ensure that they are that legacy means what? What? That is something that is very tangible. Tangible. Tangible something that is very paramount the best gifts gifts that parents can leave for their children even when they die or give to them while they are alive option a introduce into political circle no in option b introduced into high society cycle no making them to be member of high classes as so no. option c left with enough financial resources no leave a good amount of money with them option d socially comfortable no option e well educated yes well educated that is the best legacy parents can give to their children or live with their children educated so correct the correct option here is option e thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos Know, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Past Question. Question number 18 says Drug abuse can be controlled through that. That is, the mayor by which drug abuse. Can can be controlled. That's what the question is saying. A excessive intake intake of alcohol, no. Patronizing quacks, no. Self administration of drugs, no. D the use of drugs on medical prescription e the use of expire and ship drugs no therefore the correct option here is option d the use of drugs on medical prescription that is by doctors by doctors recommendation by doctors recommendation Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more of our videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 
civic education past question question number 19 says which of the following is an example of a prescription drug prescription drug that is drug that can be recommended drug that can that can be recommended that is prescription drug a cocaine and when we talk of cocaine cocaine is an illegal drug as a matter of fact is one of the contraband drug in countries of the world and it is made up of what we call morphine morphine and when people are addicted to it it's very bad because it ill up spirit then option b is called heroin heroin is a powerful a powerful illegal also it's also illegal illegal drug illegal drug illegal drug that is also made up of morphine that is made up of morphine it is also used to eye spirits particularly among the youth of today then we also have option c marijuana marijuana is a drug too is a drug that is made up that is made from a drug made from dried leaves dried leaves and flowers and flowers of what we call hem so it is also used by people and smoke by them the option d it is called opium opium is a powerful drug drug made from from juice juice then option e valium is also a drug a drug used to reduce used to reduce anxiety anxiety but it's also i why opium is used why opium is used to reduce pain opium is used to reduce pain and make people sleep so the correct option here is option D, which is opium. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more for our videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 20, which says which of the following is not a symptom of drug abuse which of the following is not a symptom of drug abuse when we talk of symptom means sign it is not which is not a sign of drug abuse a excessive grating in a noisy way it is a symptom or sign of drug abuse exhibiting lackadaisical attitude towards 
towards attitude towards parents towards parents it is a, a symptom or sign of drug abuse option c frequent fighting with teachers and students it is a sign of drug abuse frequent minor illness such as sluggishness it is a symptom of drug abuse increased intellectual capacity it is not a symptom of drug abuse not a same <coughs> A same term of drug abuse. Therefore, option E is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more videos. To know welcome. This is Snake Coast Year 2019 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 21 says. Citizenship education is very important because we want to talk of citizenship education. Citizenship education is refers to the to the education which inculcate moral behavior into the citizens a brings obedient and responsibility and responsible individuals b encourages animosity among the ethnic groups c inculcates negative values among citizens d promotes indiscipline in the society e promotes social unrest in the society what we'll talk of social unrest means violence so citizenship education does not promote violence so it cannot be they does not encourage in discipline it does not inculcate negative attitude it does not encourage animosity which is which is trouble or conflict conflict citizenship education breeds obedient and responsible individual therefore option a is correct thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more of our videos so you know, welcome this is neko year 2018 civic education pass question question number 24 says the right to own property and lawful businesses are categorized under dash rights. That is what type of rights can we classify the right to own property like like houses or land then and businesses is classified under what right a economy b legal c political d religious e social now we'll talk of economic rights economic rights it it is the the right to own property property search as business house land 
ATC. The author of legal rights, it is a constitutional right. Constitutional rights. Such as rights, right to sue and be sued. The other for political rights, it is the right to contest or vote in an election. Religious rights, it is the right to belong to one's choice of of faith. The social right it is the the right to belong to any social social organization and so on and so forth so with this the correct answer is option a thank you and god bless you can you subscribe for more videos Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko, the 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 23 says Fundamental human rights can be grouped into dash categories. When we talk of fundamental human rights, means rights, rights that, that citizens. Are ought to enjoy by the virtue by the virtue of being citizens of of a country. So on top of the classification, we have what we call social rights, social rights, then we have what we call political rights, political rights, we have economic right we have religious right then we have legal right then we also have what we call educational rights Educational. Therefore, we have six fundamental human rights. So, option E is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more of our videos. Welcome. This is Neko year 2019 
civic education past question question number 24 says which of the following is not a function of public service public service which is not remember that public service people that the staff in public service is known as pop public servant known as public servant staff in public then public service is established by the act of parliament so which of the following is not a function of public service a executing government policies and programs b formulation of policies c generating revenue for government d padding of budgets e preparing the budget for government so what talk of functions of government public service implement government policies and program public service formulate policy for government public service generate revenue for government public service prepare budget for government but does not pad government budget so the padding of budget is it is the duty of the political aid political aid so which means that option d is correct thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more of our videos Welcome. This is Neko Year 2018 Civic Education Pass Question. Question number 25. Crisis in the society can best be resolved through that. That is solution. Resolve means the solution to crisis in society. Option A. Amnesty. When we talk of amnesty, amnesty means means pardon pardon that that government that government usually shows on offenders on offenders option b condemnation is the art of condemning 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 a figure option c dialogue it is the the process of of com of communicating of communicating or talking the option d litigation 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 has to do with lawsuits with repressor repressor it is the acts of retaliation and so on so, so the correct option here by this is option c which is what dialogue thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more of our videos
Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 26 says, which of the following is a hindrance to intercommunal relationship? Intercommunal relationship means means relationship which exists between two 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 communities A. Caring. B. Honesty. C. Impatience. D. Kindness. E. Tolerance. C. Indrance. Caring cannot be an indrance because it is positive. It is positive. Honesty cannot be an indrance. It is positive because we are talking of negative. Impatient is negative. So if impatient exists between two committees or more, it can cause violence or hindrance. Kindness is positive, cannot be an hindrance. Then tolerance, which means accommodating, is positive. Korean means accommodating. In. So it cannot. So the whole correct option here is option C, which is impatient. Thank you and God bless you. Ensure you subscribe for more videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 27 says. National Directorate of Employment Scheme was introduced by DASH, that is by who, who introduced this scheme called National Directorate of Employment, A. Absalami Abubakar, B. Ibrahim Babangida, C. Am Muhammadu Buhari D. Ulushe Gobasanjo E. Sonny Abasha The correct option here is option B. Ibrahim Babangida Ibrahim Babangida introduced this scheme in 19 in 1986 in order to curb unemployment, unemployment in the country at that time. So option B is correct. Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more videos. Welcome. This is NECO year 2019 civic education pass question. Question number 28 says the objectives of youth empowerment scheme is dash youth empowerment scheme. What me that is what is the objective, the aim of establishing this scheme? A challenge the youth to be politically conscious, B enable youth to appreciate government function. C. Equip the youth with skills for self-reliance. D. Provide the youth with citizenship education. E. Sensitize the youth to be aware of their rights. The correct option here is option C. To equip the youth with skills for self-reliance. Reliance. That is the essence of 
the youth empowerment scheme thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more videos welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education past question question number 19 says the individual who engages in carpentry carpentry work who engage in carpentry work and wedding work is said to have acquired dash skills a communication b intellectual c leadership d life copy e natural when we talk of communication communication skill communi communication skill as to do with with concise expression so it cannot be concise expressions the intellectual ski ski has to do with being intelli intelli Leadership skill has to do with ability to lead. The life coping skill has to do with survivor so survivor of an in the 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 natural skill has to do with ability to to do something in its uniqueness so with this option d is correct and sure you subscribe for more of our videos Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko year 2019 civic education past question. Question number 13 says which of the following which of the following roles which of the following roles is performed by responsible parents? Roles roles performed by responsible parents. A good home training b inculcation of hawking skills b c rather political education d political toggery e provision of infrastructure so one talk of infrastructure is the function of government it, it is government rule not parents then Political toggery is negative to the society, is negative to the society. Therefore, no parent will give such to his or her child. Then, political education is the knowledge 
of politics, knowledge of politics, or having the knowledge of politics, the inculcation of okay skills that is hard labor to their children. Then good home training is the role is the role or duty of a responsible parent. Therefore, option A is correct. Thank you and God bless you. And share and subscribe for more videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2019 civic education pass question. Question number 31 says The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles is dash. The quality of being honest, that is, having honesty as a value as a value the moral principles the summary is being disciplined is refers as dash a commitment b integrity c justice D. Loyalty. E. Orderliness. When we talk of commitment, commitment has to do with it has to do with strong attachment. Attachment. towards towards something or someone integrity it is the art of self self esteem or respect justice this relates to lawsuits then loyalty it is synonymous to obedience Obe Obedience. The orderliness simply means to be in consonance with doctrine. And so, and so. so by this, the correct option is option B integrity has to do with being honest and having strong moral principle thank you and god bless you can you subscribe for more of our videos So now welcome, this is NECO year 2018 civic education pass question. Question number 32 says, the style of leadership based on customs of the people is regarded as dash authority. First of all, what is leadership? Leadership is the adjectival form of the noun. Adjectival form of the now word called leader 
So this means that a leader is a noun, while leadership is adjective. Then when we talk of customs of the people, it relates to the norms and practice of the people or synonymously tradition tradition so option a administrative b legal c political d spiritual e traditional now i want to talk of administrative authority it has to do with office it had to do with office or institutions or organization where power flow from the top hierarchy down to the bottom or from the top officer to the subordinate then legal authority is accustomed to law so you can find this in judicial judicial institution they want to talk about political authority political authority is attained through election election and it is it is bestowed on politicians or political leaders political office holders political office holders like the president the governor then spiritual authority is also known as episcopacy episcopacy authority so find this in church or mosque then traditional authority is that authority that relate to norms and custom of the people like the will be in the south east oba in the west and emia in the north so by this option e is correct thank you and god bless you and sure you subscribe for more videos Good afternoon, welcome. This is NECO year 2019 civic education pass question. Question number 33 says coded diagrams that pass information to motorists are known as dash signal. Dash signal. So we want to talk of information. Information is the end product of data because data leads to information. And motorists, we mean drivers. Drivers. So the coded diagram that give them signal or pass information to them as they drive is called dash a descriptive b mandatory c medical d prohibitive d mad mad cannot be because it is negative cannot be a mad signal there it cannot be positive in the sense that it is 
it is not illegal it is not illegal that it cannot be medical because it is not not medical incline then mandatory the signal is mandatory because it is compulsory compulsory to every driver driver to have the knowledge of interpreting the signal <coughs> so it is not descriptive because it's not describing anything therefore option b is correct thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos to know welcome this is neko year 2018 civic education past question question number 40 34 rather says which driving overtaking can best be encouraged which driving overtaking can best be encouraged this simply means for a driver behind driving behind another vehicle for he or she to overtake what situation or condition should he or she overtake now option a says bridge and bridge is self-explained b narrow road we all know what narrow road is that is tiny road tiny new road is it on tiny road they see sharp road that is a road that is sharp bend rather that is road that is cough that is cough in nature that has something of this nature the option d is steep road when we talk of steep road steep road simply means road that is not straight not straight not straight it is also cough one can also cough say cough road then straight road R road that is expressively straight on it too that is straight that the driver driving behind can see ahead of the driver that he or she can actually overtake so by this explanation option e is correct so for driver to overtake take the driver ahead of him or her it is best done in a situation where there is a straight road Thank you and God bless you. Kindly subscribe for more videos. Good afternoon, welcome. This is Neko Year 2019 Civic Education Pass question. Question number 35 says barricade on the road signifies dash barricade on the road signifies dash now barricade as an english way simply means block on the road signifies dash a pedestrian crossing 
B roadblock C road demarcation D road diversion E steepy sign now what talk of pedestrian crossing that is people using legs to cross that is pedestrian people that trek trek the roadblock the C road demarcation demarcation means road division the vision that occur by road the road diversion that is follow alternative simply means alternative road then step a sign that that is a sign or or a signal the roadblock means stop or stoppage let's say stoppage stoppage so option b is correct thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 36 says working together towards achieving a common goal is dash working together that is when group of persons of persons person work together to attain specific good very good is called dash and that is the definition of what we call cooperation because cooperation is the process by which people or persons from different background come together and nest their efforts in order to work towards achieving a particular goal or set goals that is the meaning of cooperation so this defined what cooperation is the option b honesty honesty simply means being truthful being truthful that's it telling truth the integrity simply means personal or self esteem having self respect then justice has to do with law suits the sincerity has to do with purity purity of the mind so the option that actually defined working together towards attaining a common good is called cooperation so option a is correct thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos afternoon welcome this is neko year 2019 civic education pass question question number 37 says an individual's reflection take note an individual's reflection of needs which is desire of needs and desires in life let us replace it with aspiration 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 in life is dash value that is what values or under what 
types of value can we classify personal needs and desire or aspiration a general b group c national d personal e societal what talk of general it means that it belongs to everybody every everybody or applicable to everyone then group it means that it means that it belong to set of persons that have things in common then we'll talk of national it is statism statism that is belongs to everybody in that country for instance nigeria then personal it means self the societal means it belongs to it belongs belongs to to the o that is it covers everyone in the society so and we are talking of individual so individual means one person therefore option d is correct thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos to know welcome this is neko year 2018 civic education past question question number 38 says which of the following forms of marriage is alien to Nigerian society? Now, now as we all know, marriage it is a legal union. You know, between. between an adult may and female that is union between two adults the alien alien means strange or foreign that people are not used to that are not accustomed to so which type of marriage that we are not accustomed to in nigeria a bigamy bigamy has to do with having two legal or E legal spouse spouses so it could be on the part of a woman or on the part of a man then monogamy as well know one husband for one wife very simple then polygamy that is, that is what he said polygamy uh, is the opposite direct opposite of monogamy which is having two two having two wives then same sex 
by definition sex is a biological activities a biological actions or inaction between two adults so having same sex means means may adult with an other an other may adult or female adult with another female adult then surrogate simply means substitute substitute that is having alternative or having an eye outside where marriage or outside home so the type of marriage that is trained to Nigeria society is same sex this could be gay or lesbianism activities thank you and god bless you kindly subscribe for more videos afternoon welcome this is neko year 2018 civic education past question question number 13 says queen simply means dash means that that is what is the meaning of queen a satisfying oneself before others b serving oneself before others c standing behind someone D. Taking advantage of others. E. Waiting for your turn. And it is as we all know when we go for maybe go for a particular play. Okay, let me take this for instruction. Maybe ATM machine. When we go to ATM machine, and we find out that there are people ahead of us, and they line up that defines Q then the next person that will come we have to join the same line or follow suit so by this Q simply means standing behind someone and take note it is an orderliness manner so it is an order it is very simple and it shows discipline shows discipline in the society so option c is correct thank you and god bless you ensure you subscribe for more videos welcome this is my year 2019 civic education past question question number 40 says if someone indulge if someone indulges a short cut in order to achieve something it is dash if someone indulges that is engages engages in short cuts in order to achieve something it is called dash a desperation b this orderliness c indiscipline d orderliness e procedure now when we talk of desperation desperation simply means out of self control yes then also for english dictionary will tell you that lost of hope desperation then this orderliness simply means lack lack of orderliness or doing things properly then indiscipline also means 
absence of discipline discipline they are words of two opposites otherness simply means to be in order or chronological manner then procedure procedure simply means being in line with rules and regulations so by this if someone engage in shortcut in order to achieve something it is out of desperation so option a is correct thank you and god bless you and share subscribe for more videos